Hey guys, welcome to day 17 of 21 days of prayer. We only have four days left. I can't believe it. it. Makes me a little sad, to be honest. But knowing that you are being consistent in your prayer walk, that you're watching these videos every day, you're being encouraged in your faith, you're sharing this with your friends and family, you're learning to pray more boldly with confidence, with people, for people, uh, in your own prayers, knowing that brings me so much joy. I know I'm growing through this journey and I hope that you are continuing to develop that spiritual discipline in your life. I wanna to read to you from John 13, 35 today as we talk about our prayer focus. It says this, this is Jesus speaking. He says, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. You know, Jesus was teaching his disciples and teaching us now that the world will see that we love him and that we follow and are committed to him by the way that we love one another. And today's prayer focus is all about the communities around us catching a wind, catching a glimpse and excitement of what God's doing here within our church. And so I wanna challenge you, what does your life look like outside of attending church on Sunday? Do you have a joy and a contentment that's found in God, that's found in prayer, that's found in the relationship with him? Does your life look like the life of a devoted disciple where people can see that and catch a wind and be excited about it, where that itself becomes a witness of inviting people into God's family? You know, proclaiming our faith, living out the gospel is so difficult in the day and age we live in. We're pulled and pushed and grabbed in so many different directions of life and in so many different ways that sometimes we just find it hard to just simply stop and find some peace. And I believe through this 21 days of prayer, God is showing us something so vital about what our life looks like as a disciple. You know, he says that if you love one another the way that I've taught you to love, then people will know that, that we're his disciples. And so I wanna challenge you today, live your life as a disciple by loving people best. Love people the best you can every single day. And then people will see that Jesus lives in you. And then people will catch wind of what's happening within you, with what's happening within our church body here at Eastside, or if you attend another church, you're part of God's family, and we want your friends and family to catch wind of God's presence in your life. God will work in your life. God will work in your prayers if you ask him to help you love others the way that he loves you so that you can show your value as his disciple. And I'm so excited that you are doing this with me this week. I'm so excited that our 21 days of prayer is continuing to be strong. But I want to challenge you. Don't forget that others need to hear the gospel. People are lost without salvation every single day. And that needs to hit us right here. That needs to convict our very soul. So I'm going to pray that you and I would catch we catch a wind, a fresh wind from God that we can take out and proclaim our love for God by the way that we love others and so that people can see that and become part of our church family. So let me pray for you. God, thank you that um, you use your gospel in so many ways. Thank you for 21 days of prayer. Please help us love each other the way that you loved us without conditions, without stipulations, with so much mercy and grace Help us show love to one another and help the world see that we love you so that they can catch wind of what you're doing in our life and so that they can be a part of your church. Help us take us with that today and through the rest of this week. In your name, amen. Hey, we're praying for you to catch wind of God's love in your life and so that you can proclaim that to others. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for day 18 of 21 days of prayer.